The year is 1908, and it's just after 7 in the morning. A man is sitting on the front porch of a trading post at Vanavera in Siberia. Little does he know, in a few moments, he will be hurled from his chair and the heat will be so intense, he will feel as though his skin is on fire. That's how the Tunguska event felt 40 miles from ground zero. The Tunguska event was a large explosion that occurred near the Tunguska River in Krasnyarsk, Russia on the morning of June 30th, 1908. The explosion over the sparsely populated eastern Siberia taiga flattened an estimated 80 million trees over an area of 830 square miles of forest. And eyewitness reports suggest that at least three people may have died in the event. The explosion is generally attributed to the airburst of a meteoroid. It is classified as an impact event even though no impact crater has been found. The object is thought to have disintegrated at an altitude of three to six miles rather than to have hit the surface of the earth. The explosion released enough energy to kill reindeer and flatten trees for many miles around the blast site, but no crater was ever found. At the time, it was difficult to reach this remote part of Siberia. It wasn't until 1927 that Leonid Kulik led the first Soviet research expedition to investigate the Tunguska event. He made an initial trip to the region, interviewed local witnesses, and explored the region where the trees had been felled. He became concerned that they were all turned with their roots to the center. He did not find any meteorite fragments and did not find a meteorite crater. Over the years, scientists and others concocted fabulous explanations for the Tunguska explosion. Some were pretty wild, such as the encounter of Earth with an alien spacecraft, or a mini black hole, or a particle of antimatter. The indigenous Evenks and Yakuts believed a god or shaman sent the fireball to destroy the world. Various research stations in Europe recorded both seismic and atmospheric waves. Days later, Strange phenomena were observed in the sky of Russia and Europe, like glowing clouds, colorful sunsets, and a weak luminescence in the night. Engineer and science fiction writer Alexander Kazantsev developed an unusual explanation in the aftermath of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. He argued that a nuclear explosion equivalent to 1,000 Hiroshima bombs of possible extraterrestrial origin caused the Tunguska blast, as either a UFO crashed in Siberia or an interplanetary weapon was detonated there for unknown reasons. Also, geomagnetic anomalies recorded at the station of Irkutsk were similar to a nuclear blast. In 1973, American physicists proposed that a small black hole collided with our planet, causing a matter-antimatter explosion in Earth's atmosphere. The truth is more ordinary. In all likelihood, a small icy comet or stony asteroid collided with Earth's atmosphere on June 30th, 1908. If it were an asteroid, it might have been about a third as big as a football field, moving at about 10 miles per second. More than a hundred years after the event, only sparse clues survive. Seen from above, no evidence whatsoever remains, as trees have recolonized the devastated area. On the ground, only a few stumps of trees killed by the explosion can be found, most already rotten away or buried in the swamp.